Hi there everyone! Welcome to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I'm going to start a project for Christmas. I know it's August, it sounds a little early, but when I was young I used to always make everything that I gave out for Christmas or almost everything. So I used to make soap, candles, and Christmas cards, and I made all kinds of different crafty things and art and food and chocolates. Chocolates are food, yeah. Anyways. <laughs> so I haven't done that for a long time. I, I did still make Christmas cards. But I haven't done a lot of the crafty stuff to give away. So I really wanted to start back onto that. And I'm going to go through and do a whole bunch of different things again, like soap and candles. And I've got bath bombs, and I got to make a few different types of Christmas cards. And I'm going to try cold process soap, which I haven't done before. I've only done the pour, uh, the melt and pour soap. I've even got some knitting, some scarves. I don't know if I'll put that on camera, but uh, to start off with, I've got a few kits. I'll probably do one kit per video because I don't really know how long they're gonna take me. So anyways, um, I bought some kits from Brambleberry to try. This one's the uh, Galaxy Bath Bomb Kit. And I also have to make sure that I have all the ingredients that I need that didn't get sent to me before I know if I can make them all. This one's the Dark Crystal Candle Kit. That looks really pretty and sparkly. And I also got the Celestial Soap Kit. So yeah, I'm going to open those up each time I'm going to make something and I'm waiting for ingredients for things like making my um, cold process soap and um, all my papers and things that I'll need to make Christmas cards. So eventually I'll get over the months to making those things. And I've got to start early because this stuff has to be ready and I don't live near most of my friends and family. So I've got to wait for things to get sent to me in the mail and then I've got to make them. I've got to get them ready. Then I've got to mail them out. So it's a long process. And you know what? It's only a few months away. <laughs> 2020 has gone by so fast, guys. I can't believe it. Um, it hasn't been great, but getting to stay home most of the time has really got me back in the mood for making more stuff again. So, without further ado, here we go. Let's see how this goes. Hey again, guys. I'm going to get started on the Dark Crystal Candle Kit today. So let's see what's inside. And right on top again, there's the Dark Crystal Candle Kit Inclusion. And it looks like the instruction sheet. And... We've got the nice picture and tips on the back of the instruction sheet to help, and some ah, labels to decorate the tops so you can give them away as gifts. Are they stickers? No. Maybe? Have to cut those out and place them on the tins. Let's get this out of the way. So we've got so yeah, as you see on the instructions, they're gonna be in tins. 
and not a lot of things on the recipe, but we need tins, wicks. I'll also need to get a heat safe container to melt the wax, spoon for stirring, thermometer, scissors probably to cut the wicks, and a scale. Hmm. Oh, it says optional box with paper, so we might want to hang on to the stuffing stuff so we can sit the candles back in while they're setting. And ten straws are closed pins. Uh, I think those are to hold the wick straight while it's hardening. So there's all the tins. Not a bad size. And we've got a two, four, six, eight, ten of those, I think. Fine silver rainbow eco glitter. That's oh, pretty. It looks like they're shimmery on top. We've got Wax. And we've got dark, dark crystal fragrance oil. Let's see if I can get a sniff of that. It's got tape around the outside, so it's not like us. That's interesting. I don't mind it. It says it discolors, so I guess this must only really be good for candles, not not soap making maybe, or more difficult with soap, soap making possibly. What have we got this little baggie here? How can I not get this open? It's just staples. Come on! Open up! Let's see what's inside. Uh -huh. Oh, of course, the wicks. Those are super long. Let's see here. Yeah, that is, uh, that is super long. <laughs> it doesn't need to be that long, I don't think. Mm, that's okay. Right. Got some extra wick for making some more, if we can get some more of those bases, I guess. And that's it. Looks like a pretty easy one. I think I have the rest of the ingredients that I'll need. So let's get started on that. And it says to prep wicks and candle tins first. And it says that you should use a bobby pin or something like a... clip to hold the wicks in the middle. But I think what I'm going to do is glue them down with hot glue. That works. I'm gonna cut them to the edge of the tin. Make sure that's right. And then Stick a bit of hot glue on the bottom. Ooh, don't want the stringies. Get 
that flat. Yeah. Looks like it'll work. Okay, what's the next step? Melt and scent the wax. Okay. Get these little candle bases out of the way. Put them back in the box to hold them while they're hardening up. Pour all the wax into the large container. Don't want to waste any. on 30 second bursts, stirring between each one, taking about four to five minutes. When the wax is around 135 to 145 Fahrenheit, add all the fragrance oil and stir to fully incorporate about one to two minutes. Okay, I have to take this to my microwave to melt it. So I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. I got it all melted. I tested it with my laser thermometer and it's in it's in Celsius, not Fahrenheit. But I did a conversion and I don't think it's quite hot enough, but I'm gonna go ahead and pour the scent in anyways because it is melted, so. it'll be okay and it does smell good
call that good. And I've got a horse boat on here. Hopefully I can hit it. Good. And then it says to wait about one hour before putting the glitter on. And then tomorrow or the next day, they should be good to go. So that's it for now. So I went ahead and cleaned up my containers. Now while I'm waiting, I guess I will cut out the little uh, decorations for the jars.
Okay, well it hasn't been an hour, but I'm just gonna, they're sort of solidified on the top, so I'm just gonna try putting the glitter on right now, which is hard out of the bag, but I don't wanna touch it with my fingers. They're still a tiny bit warm, but not hot at all. Litter. Since they're still pretty wet, I do not want to tilt them around too much. I'm going to keep them flat until they harden all the way. But luckily, I didn't. Put everything in evenly, so I have one empty tin left, so I can at least do one wrap around. Let's see. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna peel that off. Backing off. Wow. This is a terrible job I did. <laughs> not too hard though. We wrap around and I can at least put the ones on the lids. It's all done. And there's the candle. See the glitter on top there. You can't smell it, but it does smell good. It does smell really good. So that's that. That was pretty quick and easy. <laughs> See you next time. Bye-bye.